Hey guys, welcome to Raising Russell. Today I have Russell over here. He is 10 weeks old and resting away. Hi baby. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about my top five tips for surviving the NICU. Um, when Russell was first born, he was five weeks premature and so, so tiny. Um, he ended up staying in the NICU for 11 days and he was um, there because he needed to learn how to eat. He had a feeding tube in his nose and that's what we were focused on. Even though he wasn't there very long, it was still really, really hard for me. I never imagined that my baby, my sweet little boy, would be stuck in the NICU. And so I hope that these tips can help you to um, figure out how to make your stay a little bit easier there. Um, so my tip number one is to find a support system. You need family and you need friends around you and just people that can help you because taking care of this new sick baby or a baby in the NICU for any reason is not easy. Um, my mom was there for me. She brought me lots of food. She drove me back and forth from the hospital to home and that was really a big help. Um, my husband was there. He took turns taking shifts again with me to watch the baby um, in the NICU. It was really important to us that he always had somebody from our family with him and so we wanted to make sure that we each rotated and so um, that was really a big help. My little sister did things like buy clothes for little baby Russell. I really thought he was going to be a 10 pound baby and yikes was I wrong. He was a little 4 pound 6 ounce baby boy and he, um, he definitely needed some preemie size outfits. All the clothing that I had for him was way, way too big. So I would advise finding support, people that can help you out in little ways because it really makes a huge difference. My tip number two for you guys is to be informed. Oh my gosh, I wish I had been more informed with his care earlier on. I had a C-section with every complication in the book, um, but I'll go more into that when I share his birth story. And um, yeah, just the medications that I was on and different things didn't allow me to really get involved in his care right away, and I wish that I had been able to. Um, make sure you know who the doctor is that's taking care of your baby. Oh, you okay? <laughs> Pinky break. <laughs> make sure you know the doctor that's taking care of your baby. Make sure you understand the treatment plan and the diagnosis and all the different things so that everybody's on the same page and you know what it's gonna take to get baby home with you guys. Um, so yeah, be informed. And part of that leads me to number three, which is to advocate for your baby. Um, when Russell was in the NICU, once I got it together and I figured out his team and his care plan, I realized that it was just not what I would have wanted for him. I felt like he didn't really need to be there anymore and that they weren't listening very well. And it was my job to stick up for him. So after a ton of research, I figured out that he could go to a different hospital in the area that had a better plan that I was more on board with. And when I decided to put this plan into action, I had so much resistance from the hospital staff to social workers, charge nurses, everybody was trying to convince me that this wasn't the best thing for him and I knew that it was. So sticking to what I believed in ended up getting him out of there and it was the best thing for him. He came home a day and a half later because he was doing so well. So make sure that if you know something is wrong or you want something a different way, advocate for your baby. Our tip number four, do you want to help me tell tip number four? <laughs> Our tip number four is to take care of yourself. Um, when Russell was in the NICU, it was really hard for me to find time to eat, to take a shower, to really do anything for myself. I just wanted to sit by his side and be there for his rounds. I mean, every three hours he was having nurses come in and doing his little routine, and I wanted to be part of that. So leaving to do things for myself was not easy. But as a new mom and a nursing mama, it was super important that I was eating and making sure I was showering and getting a little bit of rest. And so if you're in the NICU, just make sure that you find time to take care of yourself. Whoa. You all right? You stretchy boy. Hi, stretchy boy. You want to be a smiley boy? No. Okay. 
My tip number five for you guys is to take pictures and enjoy your time there. Not the fact that you're stuck in the NICU, but try to enjoy every little milestone that you get to experience with your new baby. Um, with Russell, even though I wasn't at home, which is where I wanted to be, I still got to enjoy holding him for the first time and feeding him for the first time and watching my family meet him. And that was really wonderful. And I am so, so glad that I have pictures and video of all that to remember it by. Um, so make sure, even though it's a tough time, that you document it because this is the beginning of your little baby's life and you might really enjoy it later like I did. So thank you guys so much for watching these five tips that I hope will help you if you ever find yourself dealing with a stay in the NICU. And stay tuned and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys!